Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you, you, hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, it's a very serious video. I'm gonna try my best to sprinkle in a little bit of Haley humor to the best of my abilities, you guys, but it is just a rant and a rave because I've been putting off this video for a while. Um, I've been putting off a lot of things for a while, you guys, because I have just been taking time for myself to focus on myself and to focus on my mental stability when it comes to the world because every time I get on social media I check my email I get an email from someone I get a message from someone I get a comment from someone telling me I should talk about this this or that sad depressing thing that's happening in the world and I just realized that <laughs> it gets draining especially when you're on the internet and you give your opinionate your strong opinionated view on a topic it can sometimes be very divisive and so with this video. I know it's going to be the same, but like I said, I've been putting off um, and been very mild and neutral for a lot of topics lately, but this one just really bothers me. And I don't know how I'm going to title this video. It's going to be maybe why Americans are obsessed with the Holocaust, why the United States has so many Holocaust deniers, why we give certain people um, platforms, why we always have to pick and make fun of and glamorize uh, World War II era. I'm just gonna be talking about a bunch of things. And the reason that I'm making this video, I should have made it maybe a week ish plus ago was that uh, there have been a lot of prominent people in the news talking about Hitler, talking about World War II, talking about Germany, talking about Jews, talking about Nazis, everything. And it's very sad and heartbreaking for me to like read this stuff, see this stuff, witness this stuff. And so our former president, he invited, I think Kanye West and another uh, podcast person, I don't know how to describe the person to his house um, for dinner. And the person, one of the people that he invited was a prominent Holocaust denier. And just some of the things that he has said, aside from being like an anti-Semite and a racist, uh, homophobic, transphobic individual, um, he's just disgusting. And then to have Kanye West, who says that he I don't, uh, agreed with Hitler, uh, co-signed Hitler, it's just shocking for me that it's coming from a place that I call home. And I think it has a different meaning to me now. I think um, World War II, Hitler, Nazi, everything that goes into this, you guys, has a whole different meaning for me since I live in Germany and since I've seen, I've talked about this before, the education that goes behind trying to teach that this is something that is horrible to see, um, the active measures being taken by, I would say Germans in general, the government too, we can throw in there, but Germans in general and how serious of a topic this is for them, um, I think I take it a little bit more personal now because when I first came to Germany and this might be um, a very good lesson for a whole bunch of people <laughs> out there that maybe have never gone to Germany, never come to Germany or are planning on coming to Germany, the Holocaust for me was something that was very distant in the United States. It could be my age, it could be my education, it could just be where I came from, who knows, it was a, maybe a mixture of all those factors. Uh, but coming here, it was something that I only knew from movies. It wasn't something personal and it wasn't something that was tangible for me. I couldn't go to a concentration camp, I couldn't go to a museum nearby that had um, just proof evidence, documented, uh, how do you say, pieces of history from this time to show me that this happened. I only had books, I only had my teachers, I only had, like I said, movies that usually came from Hollywood that weren't the most in informative things out there. And so when I got to Germany, and let's say I went to my first concentration camp, um, it, I don't think it hit me then yet the magnitude of how important it was, but I think slowly three years in, two, I would say two to three years in, and like visiting places and trying my best to get an understanding of things, I started just realizing how important this is to not even just Germany, but all of the people and places that were impacted by this and just the world. It was one of the darkest histories in like darkest parts or pieces of our history, of our modern history um, ever. 
in the world. And seeing things up close and personal, it made me realize many, many years ago that this is not something that is a joke. It's not something that should be used as a shock value grab. It's not something that should be used as a meme. It's not something that someone should use to get their 15 minutes of fame. There are things and times, let's say, or events that have happened that people use to maybe crack jokes. And I just feel like maybe this one, especially since I'm here um, and I understand a little bit more about the history and everything that happened, I just feel like this is one of those events, one of those times and one of those things that is not something that a person needs to use to garnish followers, views, clicks, or anything like that. And so over the years on my channel, I've progressively talked about how there is an increase or an influx of the far right, alt right, I don't know what you wanna call it, movement or group or extremism in the United States. Um, I, it, what, what started many years ago, I've had different videos sprinkled on my channel throughout the years and months. I will link them up below or, or up below, up above or down below if you guys wanna check them out. Some of them are a little ditzy. I'm a very different person than I was back then. Sometimes I wanna delete these videos, but it's always nice for me to go back and see how I've changed and how I've grown as an individual. So they stay up, but you will see me talking about how, you know, the United States, what we can learn from Germany, what's wrong about the United States. And the problems that I talked about back then that I thought were so bad have now manifested into things that are extremely worse. In my opinion, for some people, this might not be a big deal, but for me, this is a horrible, a horrible time to be alive right now. It is so very disrespectful. And I think that's the bold, italicized, underlined, emphasized word here. It is just disrespectful. And I don't understand how we as people, like as Americans, don't see this. And like I said, I know that everyone does not, like they like to point out, it's not all Americans that think like this. It's only a certain group of Americans. But the issue, and this is also what I've been talking about on my channel, is that this group, it used to be a small group of people and it has slowly gotten worse over the years. It's gotten bigger, it's gotten louder, or it's been giving up given a platform and I'm just like when are we as Americans gonna stand up and like vocally say the people that are against this say that we don't like this we don't want this this is not okay because just sitting back and saying yeah I don't agree with that but not vocally saying something loud and condemning this behavior, that's the only way that we are going to make a change. And going back to what I was saying about the Hollywood and glamorization of this all, I do think that there, when you're looking at um, entertainment that is put out by the United States and Germany, or I would say even Europe as a whole, <laughs> regarding um, World War II, it, it, the United States has amazing movies. I do have to say there are some, there are a lot actually, but there are also in the same flip of the coin, a lot of movies that poke jokes, that make fun of, um, that maybe downplay or that are not educational, not informative, or just plain out inaccurate about this time. And so there are a lot of Americans out there that only know the Americanized version of the Holocaust, of World War II, of Nazis, of Hitler, and they don't know the harsh reality of it. Not to say that Germany, and like I said, Europe as a whole, does not have funny, joking, um, just stuff out there, they do. And I also think when we're looking at the scales of trying to balance everything, it's very balanced here with a more heavy influence on being informative and being educational and having like the dark, harsh truth being fed to you here. And there's a phenomenon that always happens in the United States that I've pointed out before, and it's that we tend to point out the darkest and saddest time moment in a country or person's history and focus on that. And we make that into a personality or a persona of that person or that country or that nation, and that sticks with them. So for Germany, it has been Nazis, and we haven't grown from that view. Granted, if you're educated in the 
United States, if you've traveled and you've been, been to Germany, you have friends or family members that are German, you probably know that this isn't the correct persona. But there are hundreds and thousands of millions of Americans out there that still have this idea because they know no better. And so we're always sitting there um, with, looking over a fence with a hose, telling the people um, that their grass, our neighbors, that their grass is dead, it's dying, they need to water it, they needed to do something about that, while behind us we got the damn Sahara Desert with weeds, tumbleweeds, and a dead carcass from an animal that hasn't been fed for five weeks that we haven't been <laughs> taking care of ourselves. We're always focusing on other people's shit and bringing other people down. We are just the biggest bullies out there <laughs> and it's getting to be exhausting. Why do we as Americans have to have this persona of being the damn bully? Why, why can't we just be the nice kind Americans that I know, generally speaking, umbrella term that we are? And for the people that say that it's not all of Americans, like I stated earlier in the video, that is very much so true. It's just views, opinions, and words, and you're entitled to that. But at the end of the day in Germany, there was also a man that was very persistent, that was a horrendous, disgusting individual with very extreme views that was able to gain a following that was able to lead his country into the ground while simultaneously committing one of the worst genocides in history. Certain words, freedoms, and expressions, they need to be shunned. They don't need to be given a platform. They don't even need to be given the air to be said in any public situation. And I'm sorry if you find that to be harsh. Say what you want behind closed doors, but stop saying it to hurt other people or stop saying things that hurt other people just because it is your freedom of, I don't know, speech, expression, opinion. Screw you. I'm tired of prominent people in the United States stoking the flames of extremism and allowing people like you, me, whoever's watching this as an American, allowing us to divide ourselves even more as a nation and to push us into a place where I don't think people understand that it's not going to be a good place and it hasn't been a good place. I am tired of us insulting people. It's just so disrespectful and it's such a mark, like this really black mark on our society as Americans that we are allowing this to happen. And as always, we just need to do Better. If you have directly, indirectly been impacted by this in your life, I am sorry that the United States is making a mockery of your history, um, of your past, or in your family's life, and in your country's life, and I'm just hoping that in the future we can do better. I hope Germany, um, Europe as a whole, they I, it doesn't have to be public. I hope there are being there are calls being made. The president is apologizing for our dumb ass citizens, our dumb ass previous leaders, rulers of the free world. Um, I hope he's apologizing for this and making an active effort that this stuff stops because it's not going to help anyone and if we don't quit effing around history is slowly going to start repeating itself in the united states because we don't know how to take shit seriously and so yeah with all that being said i'm going now i love y'all thank you for watching and bye